Solar power is no match for the power of music. That is the lamest thing I've ever said. And I said a lot of lame things. Anthony here, and it turns out that solar cells actually generate more electricity when loud pop music is played for them. Seriously. So most solar panels are made of silicon and they're pretty efficient. The record is a black silicon cell that can convert about 20% of the sunlight that hits it into electricity. Some methods have gone as high as almost 45% efficiency. The problem is that silicon panels are expensive and those other methods are either more expensive or hard to produce in enough quantity to actually use in the real world. A type of cheap alternative being researched is a panel made of zinc oxide. Now zinc oxide is used in a lot of glass adhesive even foods. It's also the main ingredient in topical ointments for rashes, and lately there's been a lot of research going into using it in batteries, semiconductors, and solar panels. The problem with zinc oxide panels is that they are crazy inefficient. They can only convert 1.2% of the sunlight they absorb into power, but the zinc oxide in the cells has kind of a neat trick. It covers the panel in billions of nanorods that can also generate electricity from the vibrations around it. So the research team decided to see just what kind of vibrations made the rods generate the most electricity. And after trying some random frequencies and getting very little response, they moved to music. They tried rock and it kind of worked. They tried classical and got some response. And then they tried some radio pop. And pop music made the cells 40% more efficient. So what does that mean? First, it means that zinc oxide has very uninvolved music tastes. We should really find some nanorods that put some thought into what they listen to because there is a world of music out there besides what's on the radio. It also means that Miley Cyrus and Justin Bieber are some of the greatest sources of renewable energy we have and they should probably be protected by the government. And I just don't know how to feel about that. But it also means that researchers can isolate what's best about the pop music vibrations and try to create them in other ways. They can even try to create new cells that respond even more to those vibrations or to a wider range of frequencies. I kind of love the idea of a lab full of researchers putting aside their fancy equipment and deciding to just believe in dance. It's like the end of an 80s movie. So now that we know that music works, what do you think will be the next undiscovered source of power? I would like to see us harness the raw energy of sarcasm. Let me know down below and subscribe for more D-News.